I did my speech on why in 2001, one would rather buy a Mustang Cobra versus an SS Camaro. I would have went later, but the Camaro went out of production, probably because it sucked. Um, I apologize if I get too technical. I tried to make this as simple as I could, but I am certified in this, and it's kind of hard to not. Um, first of all, let's just start out with for the performance enthusiast is kind of what I'm talking to right here. The Cobra does 0 to 60 in just 4.8 seconds, a feat that takes the sluggish Camaro 5.3 seconds to complete, which may not sound like a lot, but that's about a car length. Um, the Cobra can finish the quarter mile in 13 and a half seconds, whereas the Camaro does in 13.7. Again, at this point, they're pretty close. Um, the price difference is about $4,000. The Cobra costs about $30,000, the SS is about $26,000. Um, but what really sets the Cobra aside is that it's a lot more modern. It came with a 32 valve dual overhead cam, 4.6 liter V8 that produced 320 horsepower. And compared to the in block cam, the push rod motor, and the SS Camaro, which only had 16 valves, put out less horsepower, and it was a 5.7 liter, um, which means that the horsepower per liter ratio is much higher in the Mustang than it is in the Camaro. Um, the Cobra also came with independent rear suspension for hard quartering, and the Camaro did not, meaning that if you tried to take a hard turn, you'd probably fishtail and get a crash and possibly flip in the car. Um, another statistic comes out, in 2001, over 150,000 Mustangs were sold, compared to less than 30,000 Camaros. That right there says that most people in the general public would rather have a Mustang anyways. And since the production of the Camaro went out in 2002, Car and Driver leaves us with a quote that as far as, oh, I'm sorry, that's I didn't write down from the the car. Um, car driver states that although the, t although the production of the Camaro goes out next fall, uh, we are glad that the last pony car standing is definitely not the slowest. And I would have went into the new Camaro versus the new Mustang, but there's not really enough statistics or facts right now to compare which car is better. So.